the only issue I've had with my Traxxas Mud Boss is his lower left hinge pin backing out. I've gotten a few emails from other new Mud Boss owners with the same issue. Then last night I got an email from a current Mud Boss owner and a guy that owns several other slash trucks from Traxxas and does the same fix on all of them. As so often happens, the fix is really simple once you see it. My thanks go out to the guy that sent me that email and we'll show you the fix here. To do this fix, we have to remove the entire rear end from the car starting with these two screws. Turn the car over and we remove these six screws. You don't have to get panicky, the rear end comes out as one unit. After backing out the threaded portion of the pin, I needed a pliers to get it pulled out past the motor. Then I just turned the pin around and inserted it through the boss on the other side of the control arm. Then use the driver to screw it down until it seats. That's all there is to it. I did check the suspension arm to make sure that it moves smoothly, but I don't know how doing this would change that. Then we bolt the rear end back on the chassis. I started with these upper screws because they were the easiest to line up and make sure that the unit was set in the chassis right. Then reinstall the six screws on the bottom of the chassis and you're about ready to go. If we did everything right, the pin's in from the other side now and the motion of the arm is going to try and tighten it rather than loosen it. If this is the biggest problem I have with my mud boss, I'm going to be one happy camper. Of course, not only made a repair to the chassis, we got to take it on the track and see how it works. And while it should come as no big surprise, the mud boss drives great with all the suspension arms secure. Of course, it didn't drive all that bad with that lower left pin loose. Now that we got that pin fixed, I can move on to other important things like shock springs and shock oil and lots of test laps.